Well, Perry, it's fertilizing season, and this is the time of year we think of buying a bag like this. I, I, what you're going to have to consider, though, is after this season, you'll no longer be able to use a weed and feed product. Yeah, that's correct. Right now, like any product that has weed and feed, so herbicides combined with the granular fertilizer in a bag form, you won't be able to get after this year. The province of Alberta has put in effect a ban on those products that takes effect on January 1st, 2010. So you'll be able to buy fertilizer in a bag like this one without a herbicide. And you can buy the herbicide to treat your dandelions kind of as a spot spray application. But you won't be able to buy them in conjunction in a bag like you see What's here. the logic behind that? You'll still be able to use the stuff they don't want you to use, right? Well, the feeling is that when people are fertilizing their lawns, they're really over-fertilizing sometimes. And in this case, over-applications of herbicides. And it's getting into our rivers and lakes. And so by cutting that down and making more of a spot spray application where we're more targeting the weeds rather than just blanket everywhere, we're going to reduce those issues in our rivers and streams. What about the application of the product? You just kind of spread it on your lawn and hope for the best? Yeah, a broadcast spreader like this, we're used to kind of walking and we can spread it over. That's surface application. That works very well. When we're talking about trees. Sometimes it's nice to use uh, like a deep root water like we talk about here. You want to make sure that you just water the top eight inches of soil when you're doing the fertilizer, not any deeper than that. All right, that. when all else fails, you can remove the dandelion manually.